Hello everyone. Today I'm doing the first of a series of videos on Joseki and their variations and uh, their follow-ups and such. I learned these from Weishi TV. Uh, they have a really good program, but it's Mandarin. And I thought it would be a great idea for me to translate into English and uh, condense the lessons into shorter videos so it's easier for review and uh, rewatch. Uh, so here we go. The first one we're doing is uh, one of the most basic ones. Uh, and this is the end of the sequence. Sometimes you see players do uh, something like how do I something like uh, this. Which uh, is not a good move in the beginning of the game. It's a big end game move. Uh, it's worth about 20 points. But if you do it in the beginning, black is going to ignore it because it's not a sente move. Or black can just play here. And as you can see, this exchange is good for black since black gained more territory and has more outside influence. Eventually, white can uh, come back and play here. At which point, black should play here to live in the corner. And this is a pretty good move too because uh, black, because this is, like I said, uh, a pretty big endgame move and also it ensures that black lives and this group doesn't need to run. If black uh, tanukis, then when white does this, black is not living here, so black will have to basically run out, and the exchange is not good for black. If black tanuki is here, uh, sorry, if black uh, tries to blo block white, uh, white has a move here that can potentially cause a lot of trouble. If black just blocks here, as you can see, white will connect out, and there's not really a good way for black to contain white. If, as you can see, black does this, white can just connect very easily. If black tries to uh, to run out, or I mean to to contain white this way, uh, as you can see, it's really difficult. Or white can just cut. At, um, at this point. So black's shape is destroyed and this is not a good result for black. Um, at this point black actually has a special uh, sort of Tetsuji uh, move which is here. If Y were to cut, black can come down and at this point there's not really a good way for white to uh, kill these two stones because of uh, snapback. So you can see. So what should white do? Um, well, white should come down. But at this point, white should Atari and then move out. Um, the reason white cannot play here to Atari this is because this actually doesn't work. This is Atari. White has to eat. And now white is dead. So at this point, white plays this. Black has two liberties. Black has to move out. See, white has three. So white can press, and then black has to move. And at this point, white should squeeze here. And if black were to cut now, uh, this is a ladder. As you can see, uh, the ladder works at around these areas. Uh, if you work it out, um, which means if the ladder works favorable for white, then black is in trouble. Black basically gets nothing in the corner, and uh, it's it's a horrible result for black. If black noticed it now and plays here, white would just connect, and as you can see, this result is not as bad as before, but still very horrible, considering that. The corner used to be blacks, and now corner is entirely white. White gets the top and the bottom side. And black has a very heavy group in the middle that needs to run. Uh, this is just not working. 
If the ladder doesn't work for white, uh, white will probably not want to push because if white does that, it's, it hurts white's own stones. Uh, you know. Um, so white will probably at this point just connect and allow black to do this. If this happens, black should be pretty happy because black has the corner and does a relatively good amount of damage to white's part. And uh, even though white gets this part, you have to remember that black got tanuki many uh, black black tanuki many times. Uh, so, which means uh, this result is actually good for black because uh, black not only lives but also got to play some really good moves uh, other at other places. So this means that white should probably only plays in if she if white has ladder breakers towards this side of the board. And so that's the follow up for white. What about black? Um, s eventually, if black were to approach from this side, white has the option to run out, but this exchange is not good for white because black is territory and white, white stone is only for uh, trying to run out. Uh, so usually Y with Tanuki. At this point, Black can punish Y by by uh, destroying, well not destroying, but by playing inside of White's group. And this is a move that that is a really good follow up. Uh, well, let's first look at uh, some other moves. If Black were to play here, Y has the option to link up by playing here. But this is not really good for white because, as you can see, the result is that white doesn't really get much space, uh, is barely alive, uh, and will probably have to run out eventually. Uh, so this is not good for white. So what should white do? If white plays here, black will cross cut, and then white has option to attack from this side or from this side. Why should target from the outside? Because, as you can see, the result is that Y gets a flower on the outside. So even though this looks like uh, a pretty good result for Black, considering that Black gets a big chunk of the corner, it's actually not a good result for Black because Y gets the flower shape on the outside. And as you know, in the there's a Chinese proverb. A uh, gold proverb that says a uh, flower on the outside is worth thirty points. Um, especially in the beginning of the game, having a flower on the outside gives you a lot of influence towards the other parts of the board. Which, if Y were to play on the inside, though, uh, as you can see, uh, White has a flower on the inside, and this is not good for White because Black has influence on the outside and has basically surrounded White. So, which means black, if black were to play here, white would get the flower outside and that's not really a good result for black. So why is this one good? As we can see, if white plays here, black would just move out and connect and this takes away white's base. But what if white plays here? This is not really a good way for black to, you know, run out. Uh, this is not good. Black just gives white his two stones. The good, the correct follow-up to this is actually here. And at this point, if white tries to connect, uh, black can play here. And there's no, not really a good way for black to, uh, to, sorry, for Y to connect out. And as you can see, now Y has three separate groups. So this is really bad for Y. If Y just tries to connect, this, as you can see, is similar to before, where black has really good result on the outside. So what if Y does this? At this point, if black tries to cut white off, uh, sorry, Y can simply uh, do this, and now it's a capturing race 
which uh, <laughs> which white will win. Now what should black do? Black can actually do this. If black does this, uh, there's no way for white to connect the two parts together. As you can see, uh, the two groups, white will probably want to run the larger one, the more important one. So black would do this and this is not a good result for white. So how how can Y uh, counter this? Uh, and the answer is uh, here. If Y does this, black can do this. And this is the end of the sequence. This is uh, uh, a good result for black because black has a good follow-up. In the future, black can, uh, can start a fight by playing here. If Y tries to uh, to stop black, as you can see, black will basically surround Y, and Y only has space for one eye. Uh, as you can see here, uh, black can limit it to one eye. So Y only has one eye and is not living yet, and is basically surrounded. So this is not good for Y. So at this point, Y might choose to extend, and black can extend as well and white uh, honeys and black can can cut if there is a ladder breaker for black here. If the ladder breaker works, then uh, white will probably have to do this and black connects back. As you can see at this point, uh, white is divided into two groups, this group and, uh, and this group, because this cut works, or supposedly. Uh, and black can always initiate the fight when he has the ladder breaker. So let's go back. As you can see at this point, this is the end of the sequence. And at this point, usually it's Y's turn, but Y with Tanuki because uh, there should be other places that are bigger. Um, and once black gets a stone in this area, black can start the fight. And this is why this result is okay for black. As for white, uh, white should be content as well because white tanuki twice throughout the sequence. As you can see, going back from black place here, white tanuki once, and then at the end of the sequence, white tanuki again. So this is a pretty good result for white, and white can always come back to fix it, you know, in the future to make sure that this group is secure. So this is the follow up for uh, for black uh, after. Is just a key. Of course, if black has a large moyu on the top, like uh, like this, black can also choose to uh, to approach on this side, uh, and this will limit white in like this. At this point, white sh black should tanuki. If black were to play this to you know to try to save his stones. It's too slow, and Y will Tanuki for sure and get somewhere that's larger. The reason that these stones are not worth saving is because there's the purpose have already been served. Uh, the purpose is to limit Y's movement upwards. At this point, if Y wants to uh, break in, Y will have to do this or something like that. And as you can see, uh, Black is getting stronger on the top, and this is uh, this this is good that because he he chose to, he chose to to play this stone because he know that he wants to build a moyo on top. So if black has uh, stones on the top, and why doesn't want black to have the ability to do that? Then why, of course, can also choose to do this. Uh, it's kind of a variation of of the Joseki, but of course uh, it has its own weakness which is on the right side because now it's open. If black place here is uh, threatening to basically come in and take away white space. So Y will probably have to kick. And this exchange in itself is good for black because it strengthens black even though black uh, came in with a single stone. 
And of course, Y can also choose to do this when he thinks that this is a good uh, place, like this. If Y has supporting stones on the right, then when black comes in, Y will happily kick and uh, start attacking on this group. Uh, either try to kill or just try to use attack to build his own influences. So, uh, so this is uh, what you would choose to play if you have uh, good supporting stones. <laughs> or if you want to limit black's uh, influence on the outside. So yeah, um, that's it for today. Uh, for next video, I want to do the Joseki variations on what happens when black plays here. Alright, see you next time.